this is why we decided to break up. How do you want to start our video? How do you want to start our vlogs like that? Ooh, like that. Yeah, I like this one. What's up, everybody? Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time you're watching. Hey, guys. good night. See ya. Um, Back in. We thought we'd do a vlog style today because a lot of you were always asking, like, what do you guys do during the day? Um, we do nothing. So today we're gonna do something and film it. He's getting used to vlog style. He's not used to it. We probably should have been filming the whole morning, but we did not. It's 10:30. We, we just got our morning started. We fed the dogs. Hazel went diarrhea in the back, which is great. Can't wait to clean that up. We got dressed. I'm off. Farmer today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a dad. I got my dad's shoes. Everyone yeah, thinks dad. these are like New Balances, bro. They're Adidas, bro. Uh, Ain't no dad yet. I think it'd be so funny. Am I? We go shopping and get your dad clothes. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys probably saw from the title of the thumbnail, we, we broke up. We have a lot of explaining to do. No, we broke up. We're going to do that a little bit later in the video. We're going to see how to raise a kid broken up. Let's just. Okay, maybe we're talking too much. <laughs> Maybe I'm You're talking, talking too much. Too much. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later in the video on why we broke up. But for now, we're gonna get some coffee. We ain't human until we have our coffee. Let's go do that. Oh, do three in? Nope. We got mommy driving. We got daddy chilling front row VIP section. That is the um, passenger princess. Liver King. Oh, so many people you are have wondering. to stop doing that. Ian. I will like, not. Honestly. Honestly, we I will We're not Liver King. We don't sit there. I'm you... Liver Prince. No, you're I not. I have had liver before. Mother. A lot of people have been asking where I get my famous Odio Dio. One of these days I want to get Ayla to do it. But I get it from the, the king, the liver king. I don't think that many people care, but I thought I'd tell you guys. One of these days you're going to say it, and one of these days... That's going to be us one day. I'm going to make it... you want me to film? I don't know. We're that, that, to that, film that'd be the people. weirdest thing if I ever filmed. There's like kids playing in a tree, and Ayla's like, come film that. <laughs> okay, Odio oh, Dio. Oh, we're going to get Starbucks out. Oh. Stop. Seriously. Do you have this strawberry refresher? Yes, we got them back. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, I haven't tried it, so I want to try it. Uh, Java chip frappe oh. Uh Java chip frappe uh, grande. We just got Starbucks. It's a local spot here in Los Angeles. If you guys ever want to come here and visit and try it out, Starbucks is like a little local, like a kind of like a cool little hip spot that we go to. Yesterday, <laughs> I uh, I filmed a video, which you guys will see tomorrow. It was really funny because no, it was not literally funny. Literally every single one of these boys wanted a strawberry refresher, and I'm like, mm -hmm. what is this? girly drink y'all want. So I went to Starbucks, tried to order for them. They had no more at every single Starbucks. It was apparently gone. Wait. So blow. Blow. Excuse that way. Me, out the window. Me, out the window. And we're back. We had a nice car ride. We got our <laughs> drinks and we made it back home. I wanted to try the strawberry refresher on here because I'm actually so curious. And I want to try this just to see if it really tastes like sausage and egg. Mm. Well, <laughs> you said yeah so fast like you can even taste it. Yeah, it does. I got mine with lemonade, so let's see how it tastes. That's really good sausage and egg. Ooh, that's good. You wanna try it? No. Did it refresh you? Yeah, I feel real refreshed. Let me let me take a sip. Whoa. I knew you were gonna do that. I knew it. Very good. I knew it. I think we're gonna try the pool today. Keen and I both have not been in the pool yet. Oh yeah, you did go in the pool, huh? Yeah, but I didn't get the full vibe of it. <laughs> Starting coffee with my mouth full. Rude. We have to teach our child to not do that. <laughs> this guy's rude. <laughs> we gotta not do that. We are gonna finish eating, wait 30 minutes, and then jump in the pool so we don't get a cramp. I don't even know if they know I got a pool. Yeah, in the, in the in one of the videos that we've already filmed, I got a pool. I tested it out. I like jumped in. I like walked in like once. But now we're gonna get the full experience. We got the floaties in the pool. It's a sunny day. My first cannonball is gonna be big. Summer. Fun day, summy fun day. What's can going? I do a cannonball? Mm -hmm. I can. No. <laughs> All right, scratch plans. We have the pool guys here. He is outside now talking to them, trying to figure out the last little bit of things because we actually are having people over tomorrow for 4th of July. So I'm making my grocery list and I think that we actually need to go to Home Depot because we need chairs. Okay, we're on our way to Home Depot and I thought it'd be fun to ask Kian some trivia questions. Yeah. Baby trivia. Okay. What kind of animal is Daffy on baby Looney Tunes? Duck. Yeah. On average, how many hours per day does a newborn baby sleep? Way better. Sorry, chat. Or, sorry, YouTube. <laughs> she doesn't know how to eat. She doesn't know how to YouTube. Okay, sorry. Six to eight. 
18 to 20, 10 to 12, or 14 to 17? 18 to 20. Wrong, 14 to 17, so close. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't way too, I wasn't way off. At what distance? Seven meters. Can a newborn baby see the most clearly? What, who knows this? It's eight to 10 feet, two to six inches, or eight to 12 inches. Eight to 12 inches. Good job! Woo! I know you have to be close to a baby's face, but not like too close. Yeah. Do a pretty good job. At what age is a child considered a toddler? Two. That's actually one of the, I'll just put that. Two to three. Nope, one. That's f***ed up. What are the chances of giving birth to twins? Oh. 14%, 3%, 1%, 25%. 3. I would guess that too. Yeah, rock on! Rock on, bro. When does a baby usually start to smile? Six to eight weeks, 12 to 16, two to four, right away. Whatever one the 16 was, 12 to 16. I knew it was 68 weeks. Dang, 68 weeks? That's Six a lot Six to eight weeks. weeks, okay, we're gonna go the freeway, bye. Yeah. Okay, which one should we get? Blue? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's get blue. Oh. Red? What? Red? Red, white, and blue. Four for JY. What a dad stance right there. I wish I could help. Yeah, I wish you could too. <laughs> I'll just be a strong, burly man. <laughs> what a good boy. I really, really do like that umbrella. I just think it works perfectly. It's actually really nice. Blue, white, and we already got a red floaty. Look at we're so festive. Blake's cleaning off the cobwebs like a good neighbor. Hey. <laughs> um, okay. There's been something that we have needed to talk about or we wanted to talk about for a really long time and I think now is the perfect time to um talk to you guys i mean you guys have been following us for a really long time and this is something that we wanted to share with you so this is why we decided to break up um but this is in the past guys yeah, don't this, worry we're not broken up now we've been together for a really long time yeah there was a there was a couple times where we broke up but wait. just like wait sorry hazel's very thirsty all the time hazel i'm so and sweaty and red i'm just doing yard I work tan. i know you look great you have the mama glow i have the daddy mm. like fun glow <laughs> what is the dad thing the dad's like the sweaty well, I, heard, I was just I... doing yard work remember all the stuff we just got from home depot <laughs> ayla was cutting open boxes saying oh, this goes over there open this and put it over there <laughs> okay back to the seriousness we broke up and we want to talk about it. And I, I, I think they already know that we broke up. Okay. Maybe maybe it's new for some people, maybe it's not. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Keen and I have been together for about four years now. Five. Five? Four. four. Three, two, All right. one. We've been together for about four years now, but we have broken up twice in our relationship and we've never talked about it. We're very private people when it comes to our breakups. Like we don't, you know, I guess talk about it. I mean, yeah, it's nothing that you just want to shout to the world. Like regardless of how long I've been on the internet, how long you've been on the internet, there's some things that you just keep private and like if I get something exciting, I always put that, I always put that out there. Like it's so exciting. Mm -hmm. But when something sad happens, bro, I just got to go through it. I got to go through yeah. my emotions. Like nothing can help me go through through emotional stuff, except me and maybe some like family and friends, but. Uh, I also didn't want anyone to pick sides on like, yeah. oh, well it seems like this person did this or whatever it was. Each time we broke up, it wasn't for a like a hatred yeah. reason. We, we didn't hate each other. No one lied, no one cheated. It was really sad. And so we'll go over the first one real quick. I would say that was our biggest breakup because yeah. it, was, it was prolonged. Like we were really trying to push our relationship and then it just got to the point where we both agreed that we weren't happy well I think I could speak for a lot of couples I'll put out a general idea and then maybe a bunch of couples can understand or relate maybe but COVID <laughs> bruh COVID was uh, COVID it's was so rough, funny because rough. I was just talking to a couple the other day and they were like, oh, we started dating in COVID and we just thrived and became like yeah. the best couples. So there are people out there that just had the best Whoa. time. Yeah. Unfortunately, we were the opposite. So we were dating in 2019. We started dating in 2019. We had like a good amount of time of dating. And then we're like, you know what? Maybe we should 
Fucking move in, let's fall sand it. Fucking move in together. Moved in to a small apartment. It wasn't that small. It was, nice. it was pretty nice. It was a three bedroom. It was me, Kean, and a, my best friend. So it was three of us. And then, of course, being in COVID, you know, everything just feels. Dude, we were like adjusted. locked in. Everything was like the walls were caving in, kind of. We were like in a fresh new relationship of like, you get past the parts where you're like, ooh, mm, I love you. Mm, and you're getting to the serious parts of like your relationship. Like, you start to open up a little bit more. You start yeah. to have more real talks. And then, in Instantly, it was like lockdown. We're in a confined space for 24 hours. And it, I think it's it like really rough. hard because when we started dating, we were, you know, I'm still f***ing sweating. <laughs> it's harder than f***ing here. You want a fan, dude? I need some. Give me a cool drink of Wait, water. Hold on one second. We really have a fan. Uh, so okay, I get a paper plate. In the middle of the video, while she's talking, I'm gonna be on the side doing this. <laughs> so, yeah, let's talk a little bit about, about our breakup. Keen and I dated in 2019, but we were like always doing something. We were traveling together. I was going on brand trips all the time, taking him with me. He was in Finland. We were like not seeing each other for a few months. Like we did so much. Like we didn't have time where we really spent like every single second together and every single day. So when we moved in, it was still fine because we were working and literally one month later, COVID happened and this you know, stressful. it was just stressful stressful for us and we didn't know how to cope with it because we both are people that do like our own space and we love traveling I love traveling. Weird, it was a weird situation. It was an unfortunate situation, and eventually it led to me moving out, and then we broke up, and then we got back together. And... You also, we also had like other things too. Besides, I mean, like Corey had passed away at that time. Like oh, yeah. there was a lot of like mentally challenging things that had happened. We couldn't handle it, and then I didn't know how to handle some things, especially with like what Kian was going through, because like I think I thought I knew what I was doing, but. He I had, had anxiety. He had anxiety, and when Keen gets anxiety, he just needs space. I shut down, bro. Shout out to all the anxious people out there. <laughs> Maybe we need we to, have like, to stick together. Talk to him. I don't know, but now I know how to handle his anxiety. Okay, I'm ready. The first breakup uh, lasted around, I'd say, three months. When we break up, our breakups are uh, like we break up. We're not talking. We're not seeing each other. We're we're like taking the space that we need until something. I don't even remember how we got back together. <laughs> I don't remember. I think we got back together because like we started like hanging out again as friends. I remember we were Dogs. saying like yeah, we were we were saying like in a relationship you need to be friends. You need to be best friends first. Yeah. Um and then we started hanging out just like friends again. We just started like late night we'd like go get some food or we'd get like a Starbucks again or like I'd see the dog. And then we were like cooking together and then all of a sudden it's just like all those emotions came flooding back and we're like, fuck it, let's do it again, let's run it back. We ran it back and it was going great for a really long time. And then COVID happened again. No, one thing that Keen and I always struggled with in our relationship was we're so different. We're polar opposites. I'm North Pole. He's North Pole, I guess I'm South Pole. And we were doing really well, but I was craving like going out and doing things. I don't know, trying like new stuff, like hanging out with friends, blah, blah, blah. Ian was focused on reality house. Like he had Re so many yeah. things happening. It's and a lot of work things going on. And it sucks to say, but like anxiety gets in the way of so much. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's, I'm balancing so many plates and to relieve some of the stress or this pressure, I have to like let go of some of the plates. So we let go of me. I, I, I know it, yeah, it sounds, <laughs> it sounds so like weird to say. It sounds bad out loud. But that breakup was very, very short. I think that was only like a less than a month. No, it was two months. Oh, uh, it's very short. Sure. It, it was it was shorter, but this one I was way more sad. This one I really? felt like I was okay. I was. You were like, what? Happy? No, in the beginning one, I was like, okay, we're gonna get back together. We're gonna get back together. Like I was freaking out. Like I was like, okay, we have to get back together. The second one, I was, I was probably more devastated because it's um, about to die. We gotta hurry up. Our camera's about to die. Okay. We were the second time that we got back together. <laughs> Second time I was more devastated because I didn't really want the breakup, but Kian definitely needed to like spend oh, time himself. So that a bird, was, I need to fly. Needed to fly. So I was more devastated, but I really thought the second one was it. I thought the second one was it as well. And then I was really, really sad. I remember like pretty much I, maybe TMI, but I begged her to come back to me pretty much. I just love her, bro. I knew I loved her. I knew I needed her in my <laughs> life. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. And if I can end this on anything, Ayla is the most special human in my entire life. We've been together through the 
thick and thin of everything from the highs to the lows. I know if I can come out of everything that we went through still loving her, I know she's the one for me. Maybe she doesn't think the same about me. I do. But I think the same about Kian so much. I obviously have never wanted us to be separated. I think everyone needs time to grow sometimes individually yeah. before you can grow as a couple. I'm really happy that we took that time, but we are so strong now and we really love each other and we really appreciate each other, which I think is so important. Even a yeah. glow stick needs to break before it glows. <laughs> yeah, so now we're glowing and we're creating another glow stick. So yeah. our biggest thing we would tell couples is if you feel like you need to grow separately, do that for yourself because you can't be the best version of your relationship if you aren't your own best version. Learn so. to love yourself before you can start to love somebody else. It's trust, it's communication, and it is time. No relationship is perfect. <laughs> Uh, no relationship is perfect. Just remember that there's a lot of pressure to be perfect and just remember n Nothing is ever gonna be perfect So just take your time to like work on things and if it's meant to be it's meant to be come on. It's love, baby Thank you guys so much for joining this vlog. I'm um, sorry We scared you a little bit, but we just thought it'd be like really important to talk to you guys about the breakups You're yeah. always asking to move so forward. We have to, we have to kind of like we got to jump into the past. Yeah, but no, no more forward. breakups No more together. Just good times. Forever. Let the good times roll and like we always say Forever God. Yeah, burns a long time. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Are we done with the video? <laughs> don't. Okay, let's do it on three. No, three, no, 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 I'm done. Bye. <laughs> I just realized I said OTO3. I just want to clarify. OTO3. <laughs> OTO3. No, tune in tomorrow for my video. Bye. <laughs>